Indiana State, Indiana Gold Hunter. Today, I, of course, uh, I got to do a little intro um, on Patrick on his Facebook Live. We said we were Facebook Live, but today um, we came back to the original Pirates Cove. This is the place that Patrick brought me to. Um, he worked pretty close to this. Um, found this place and, and come to find out there's some really good gold here. And of course, Patrick is behind the camera today. My original cameraman is behind the camera today. Came out of retirement. Came out of retirement. But we came down here, um, and I came down here because Caleb Bennington actually came from Arkansas. Air, air, oh, uh, Kansas. Shoot. I'm sorry, I keep forgetting. <laughs> <laughs> he came, my bad. I, should, I meant that. Are you a Razorback? Oh, my God, no. He came from Kansas. I'm sorry, Caleb. That's okay. Man, I don't know why I got Arkansas stuck in my head, but he came from Kansas. Instead of going to his claim in Colorado, he came down there. Now, he was down here Friday. I got off yesterday morning. Of course, I had a doctor's appointment. Had to go finish, pick up my sluices and stuff. I didn't get in until late last night, and I was so tired after being up for 36 hours, something like that. And uh, it's just so hard to get used to the day shift when you work nights. Of course, I come down at, what, almost noon today, 11 o'clock, something like that. But Caleb is, he's panning out a run from earlier. Now, I can tell you this much. I would probably say... The piece that he found, and I hopefully you'll post pictures of it. Oh uh, yeah, I'll post videos and pictures. Yeah, he'll he'll post videos. Now you got you got your own YouTube channel, yep. right? Just Caleb Bennington. Yep, Caleb Bennington. Caleb Bennington on YouTube. Uh, I subscribe to him and uh, watch his videos. He's got really good videos. A place he goes on his claim and, and other things. But he's gonna have some video of the piece of gold that he found out here. Would you say it's probably the, close to the size of my pinky finger now? No. Half almost. the size. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Half half the size, almost the size of my pinky fingernail. That's a big piece, and the pieces that they're finding now are just huge and chunky. So he's, I've actually talked him into going back to his first run, and he he did this run, and he got it on his dream mat. Now, you have the 12-inch? 10. 10-inch. 10, 10. He has a 10-inch dream mat in his sluice. I actually have, and I and I make the sluices now, they're um, uh, 16 inches wide, and you can put two 8-inch dream mats in them. But this is the goal that the Dream Mat caught, guys. The Dream Mat is some pretty badass stuff. I can tell you that much. And I mean, who's to say in two years someone's going to come up with a, a mat that works even better? But right now, this is the bee's knees, man. This, this stuff works good. So, Patrick, I will grab the phone back from you. And see, are you still Facebook Live? Yep. You still, still Facebook, Facebook Live. Live. Okay. So I'm, I'm doing the video for my. Uh, YouTube. YouTube, and you're Facebook live and right now. How many people you got on? None. You got none? Yeah. Well, Paula was watching. Oh, I don't was know she? If she still is. Okay. Well, yeah, it's still early Saturday. People probably hung over. Fuck yeah. I know I'm watching out a ton of stuff. I gotta be man. I'll tell you what, these rocks are slippery. But here's here's his setup. Now he has this is the joke box that he runs. Mm -hmm. And it's also set up where he can run a two and a half inch if he wants to, but you're running a two inch, right? Yep. And there's his dream mat. I'm just trying to break this down so you guys can see oh, the that's good fine. stuff. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna show the big chunky stuff, and then we're gonna get you in some action here. I got a weak connection. Or it's weak? Yeah. Oh yeah, out here probably because of the cloud. But right there is uh, where we normally do our crevicing in the previous videos, and then we're when the water come way up. Uh, we were actually had our dredges in there and if you guys can see since the last big flood we had here we've got a new critter in our creek great big old tree that that the flood brought down right there and it's laying right in the middle of our daggone creek where we cross over to the island so at these two pieces and then i'll break it right. down a little bit more right. oh. oh my gosh guys look at this i want to show you this let me put my finger right here by it Look how big those pieces are. Them are huge. There's more in here. I'll get them. Oh, I know out. there's a lot more in there. You showed me earlier. I'll get them panned out. I'll try to scoot these out of the way. But that is just that's it. Yeah. And you found and you just found a mercury dime. Yep. Where's that mercury dime yep. at? Right here. You got that? Let's, let's show the mercury dime. Yeah, that's. Well, I, I made it here just as he was doing a clean out. And look at that. That is a. What year is that, Patrick? Did you see a year on that? 40, 40, 1942. 1942 Mercury Dime. So, more treasures here. This is exactly why we call this Pirate's Cove. is because of the treasures you find here. 
And while you're finishing it up, I'm going to take you. Oh, you got it? I was going to go up and show them the. There's a bunch more up here in between all those rocks. Oh, and look at the big. Look at how big them pieces are compared to Caleb's finger. Now, he's got like size 50 fingers. Yeah, I got big fingers. <laughs> big, big fingers. There's gold up here. And there's a lot of little gold, but. You got some that's actually got mercury on it. I know mm -hmm. you showed me. Yeah, one of that that piece has got mercury on it. I don't know if I can see in there. Or not. Here, I'm moving back. You're right. You're good. Look at that. That is just amazing, Caleb. And the trash you guys pull out here. Now to show you guys. But that that one we got yesterday was way, way, way bigger than that. And I'll, like I said, I'll put it big. It'll you be pictures. on your video, right? And I'll send you pictures too. Okay, yeah. So guys, if, if you want to see some of the bigger gold that comes out of here, subscribe to Caleb Bennington on YouTube. But this right here, just to show you guys how we're cleaning up these creeks, this thing is loaded. It's kind of heavy. A lot of trash in there that they they throw in the buckets and pull out and you know we're constantly pulling out buckets of trash out of here every time we come but yeah, this is their setup man that's a that's big pump you got nine. caleb yeah, that's seven horse it's a 1942 it's a seven horse is that a uh oh that's a duramax that's a good pump so that's silver so anyway Got his hose in. Oh, got I a little Star Wars action going. Uh oh. That's my phone. Is that the wife? I don't care. <laughs> you know, it's funny. I was just watching Star Wars last night. That's why I stayed up so late. Oh. <laughs> that Star Wars, Star Wars was on one of the cable uh, channels. TNT. Or TNT, TBS. yeah, or something one like that. One one yeah, TBS or TNT or something. And I was watching uh, episode five. Oh, cool. So. I left the right. time. All right. So you got it in there. You're getting ready to sit up. You're going to move back over. So, guys. All right. We're getting back at it. We're going to get back at it. We'll be back in a minute. Okay. In the water dredging. We kind of had a little fiasco. I was doing the Facebook Live before I fired up the video. And Caleb pulled on the hose. And the uh, high banker was actually sitting right here. And it pulled the it pulled the uh, high banker all the way over on its side, just knocked it over inside. And what's funny was when uh, Patrick jumped up and, and uh, looked at it back upright, all the material was still in those cells uh, in that green mat. So pretty cool, pretty cool. But they're following a nice bedrock. It's, like I said, you gotta you gotta make sure you uh, go check out Caleb Bennington on his videos on YouTube. He's gonna have some video of this. He's actually gonna show the, the big piece of the gold. Probably I'd say one of the biggest ones to come out of here so far. Thank you. They're on a nice crack in the bedrock. I planned on getting my dredge out and getting it down here, but until I find out what's wrong with my back, I'm not doing any heavy lifting. Heavy lifting days are done until I get my back filled. I just have to have someone help me get it out. Yeah. Anyway, that's what we got for now. Beautiful day. Supposed to be almost fine today. It's going to be hot. So, we get some of the next clean out. Almost. This is the final run of the day. Yep. Do, 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 do. <laughs> a bottle of lead, glass. Let's go in that white bucket. You're not going to use that white bucket, are you? 
That way I am. Actually. Eventually. All right. Come on, baby. Things out just that easy. I think I'm going to take that out of there. That was in there for when it had the carpet in there. Yeah. And, uh, the riffles. I can probably take that out. Okay. After yesterday? Yeah, and sleep and fucking zero sleep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You want to just dump this right into a pan and we'll... Yeah. Pan it down unless you can and take yep. the rest. Yep. See what we got. I can get up here to dry land so I don't worry about dropping my phone yeah, in the water. You gotta sit down. One pan. That's pretty nice. Killing me, so I gotta have to sit funny. Piece of 
lab. Weird looking. Is there an airport real close to here? Yeah, it's not too far. That's the yeah. second one I've seen that's really yeah. low. Yeah, airport is that direction. Yeah, it's not far off from here. That was either a bigger garnet or a piece of beer ball. Did you see it? I'm not sure what that was. That's down on top, so. Yeah. I wish you know when I get home and classify it all out. Whoa, well, it's fucking lead. <laughs> <laughs> but we still haven't found nothing like we were finding yesterday, lead wise. Yeah. No. no. Yesterday, like, was like this whole half of the pan would be full with lead. This is nothing compared to. Must get all the lead out. I do. Just cut things out now. See what we got. Little piece right on top. Yeah. Kind of cut a dip back up. Let's see. Maybe that's a piece of jewelry. Oh. Right? oh. Yeah. Is it? I don't know. Definitely got some gold. It's gold. I don't know whether it's. That's a nice piece right there. Let's see what else we got in here. Oh, that's, uh, yeah. See, now that white. <laughs> Right in the middle. I don't know. Nice piece of gold right there. Let's see what else we got. Garbage galore. Ah! Uh, <laughs> <a cold laughs> yeah, nugget. I did too. I was like, I know like, I glanced whoa, 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 over there and I was like, uh, <laughs> you got that as a gold nugget, huh? Yeah, at first. <laughs> piece on top. I don't need nothing like yesterday. Uh-uh. We're out of it. We are out of it. I mean, I'm sure there's still more in there, but... Wow. That's well, I don't want to make Dennis's video look bad. Uh, that's all right. I you're know. Gonna have, you're you're, you're going to have a, well, your video. There's gold there and there. I mean, that's gold, yeah. but that's so small. It's so that's, small. Yeah, it's so shocking compared to yesterday. No, you said it class by. You're gonna, like I said, you're gonna do a clean out and do a video on yours. Right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So guys, check out Caleb Bennington. Um, I'm sure, when he gets back home, he'll get it all classified out. And he'll have his video and he'll show, he'll show the total. Oh what yeah. he's got. Yeah. Yep, yeah, absolutely. Classify it all, run it on a little multi solution. See what we got. Well, anyway, that's what we got. That's the biggest piece of that little fucking weird looking piece. This is, uh, I guess you could say our little adventure with, with uh, Caleb Bennington. I want to thank him for driving all the way up from Kansas for coming up here to Indiana and got to go out. That's a nice piece of gold. Yeah, that's there. the biggest piece in there that time. Yeah, that piece right there. Nice piece of gold. There's more, there's more but that's our short, sweet adventure. Um, don't forget, uh, I think tomorrow on our show is going to be um, Steve Pum Remke, uh from Bering Sea Gold. Make sure you come check it out. And the next adventure, actually, I think our next adventure is going to be, I don't know, unless I, I, I can get out and somehow where I don't do a lot of lifting because of my back right now, but. 
Glad you guys uh, watched it. Please uh, rate, share, subscribe. And don't forget Prospector Radio every Sunday, 7.30 Eastern Standard Time, p.m. Come join us for a lot of fun. And uh, that's all I got for now. So this is Dennis Dayton, Indiana Gold Hunter.